hi guys welcome on today's video on how to make pancakes with self raising flour for the ingredients you're gonna need two eggs four tablespoons of sugar one cup of milk as labeled One cup of flour as labeled. Four tablespoons of oil, cooking vegetable oil. You can use butter. An eighth teaspoon of vanilla essence. As well as 0.6 ml as labeled. That's vanilla essence. You will need vegetable oil as well for frying the pancakes. You will need something to mix in the ingredients. As you can see, you'll need a whisk or a fork or a mixer, but for me I will be using a mixer and not a fork or a whisk. But on most cases, I normally use a fork, but to speed up the process and everything, I'm going to use a mixer. So I'm going to clear this working station, then I'll just combine everything. So I'll proceed and add some milk but leave a little so that when the mixture is kind of heavy I'll thin it out with the milk but in this case I really didn't use the leftover milk because I didn't want a runny butter yeah but if you want yours runny but I don't know um, just don't add it it's okay like that or you can add some more flour but yeah enjoy the rest of the video
So this is after a few minutes of letting the pan heat and no I'm not touching the pan just want to see if it's hot enough so don't risk your hands and fingerprints I did not touch the pan so I'll go ahead and pour some vegetable oil then take a spoon and spread out the oil then I'll do that and as in, I don't want to say it, it bubbles. When it does that, that means the oil is the pan and the oil are both hot. So you can proceed with the cooking. There goes the butter straight into the pan. pouring the butter I'll go ahead and spread it with that spoon
So, can you see the bubbles? Let me zoom you out. Can you see the the bubbles? No, yeah. Uh, for me, on top of the pancake. And at this point, I was looking for the spatula to flip this pancake over. <sighs> I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it. So anyway, since I didn't find the spatula, I just used a spoon, so I did that and then like flipped it. On a normal day, by the way, I cook with spoon. I also flip my pancakes with spoon. I also cook my chapati with spoon. I don't use the spatula. Anyway, but since I'm showing you guys how to go about with it, I had to use the spatula and there we go I found it <laughs> I was so happy and as you can see I'm just lightly tapping it on top and not pressing it down um, it's done on this other side so I'm just gonna flip it then put it aside I'm just tapping not pressing and put your pancake aside I will proceed and cook the rest of the pancakes if you're watching this video until this moment thanks for watching consider subscribing to this channel and give this video a thumbs up leave down a comment will you try this pancake crispy This was the last pancake and I wanted to cook it on high heat so that you guys can see the difference um, on how pancakes turn out when on high heat and when on low heat. Can you see the difference on how these ones are golden and then this one is like slightly burnt? Let's plate you guys, but then you can garnish your pancakes with either honey or pancake syrup or any other sauce.
So there's chocolate sauce. There is the blueberry one. The blueberry one is my favorite, so I'm gonna use that one. Trust me when I say this combination slaps. I wish I had some berries. I wish. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Remember to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, share this video with your friends and family. Bye!